Hello, and welcome, my brotherhood, to a whole new episode of Like, Love, and Destroy. If you guys are excited, and I hope you are, make sure you Sith Lightning that like button. That's an old one I used to use. And if you're new, make sure you use the Force and subscribe and hang out with us and our brotherhood here. Today, we're going to be bringing you a brand new episode of Like, Love, Destroy, but let's go ahead and go over the rules, and I'll introduce everybody real quick before we go over the rules. Today, we have the one, the only, the love of my life. She's the constant person uh, that is always nagging, but still supportive, you know, all that good stuff. We have Serafina here. How are you today, honey? I'm okay. That, that means she's mad. <laughs> And uh, to my other right here, we have uh, Cuties for Life. How are you today? Really tired. If I mumble, I freaking apologize. It's It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. Wow. And the last person we have with us today is uh, a man of very, very, uh, he's not very punctual. He's also, you know... Boy Scout motto didn't apply to him most of his life, I guess, apparently, of being prepared. But, um, we'll, we'll forgive him. Listen to Scar. We'll, we'll forgive and love him anyway. Pendragon, how are you today? I'm good. I apologize that I helped make it such a long day with not coming prepared. Well, that's okay, because we're going to have an amazing, epic, like, love destroy, right? Well, of course. Awesome. Probably. Well, real quick, let's go ahead and get into the rules. Like, love destroy will be a discussion of characters, fandoms, universes, and other areas of interest we find in our day-to-day -day life. Our choices are made from our own experiences and reflect only our opinions. Please feel free to let us know your opinions in the comment section down below. Seraphia and I and others will discuss, will decide on a particular fandom, group, etc., and we'll make your decisions about these characters without telling each other. We will then reveal our choices to each other and to you in the video and react to them, giving our reasons for liking loving or destroying that particular character this week we will be discussing dragons <laughs> now um <laughs> now we we decide we're not doing just how to train your dragon dragons we're doing dragons in general but how to train your dragon 3 just came out on the day of this recording so that kind of inspired this episode um, but the general term is just dragons in general, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and start, as always, because, you know, the hostess with the mostest, the, you know, the coolest of the cool. Um, I have an honorable mention, and my honorable mention is Safira from the Aragon series. Katie looks disappointed. Um, the reason why this is only an honorable mention is because of that horrible movie. And, I agree. Oh, the, the movie ruined everything. If you haven't read the book and, and then you, and you just watch the movie, great movie. If you read the book and then watch the movie, you kind of went, did you guys not have like enough money for hair dye? And you know, because... Aya, uh, or our, what's the name of the... I don't understand why you care about her hair so much. Elves, <laughs> they specifically go out of their way to say that elves are supposed to have black or silver hair. Yet the main elf character in the movie has red hair. I feel like that's their stickling point. It was a t it like, it like butchered the movie into pieces and you're like, she had the wrong hair! But yes, there were there were much bigger bigger things in that movie, especially since they didn't put Isidar Mithram in that movie. And my God, they spent like a whole like chapter just describing the magnificent that magnificence of Isidar Mithram, and it's not in the freaking book. I feel like it's kind of generally par for movie. the course that most people, if there's a book series, oh. prefer the books. Yeah, but over this one was particularly terrible. Yeah, well, I don't read so Yeah, well, <laughs> well, like I said, I would have to read it because I, I enjoy it. If the you movie. read it, like, it's nothing like the book. They, like, move, they, like, remove places and, like, cut out characters or put characters in, like, minor roles that were important in, like, the second movie. Like, if they made a second movie, they would have been screwed because there's characters that they didn't even, like, mention, but they were important in the second book 
but they don't have those characters to begin with, so they would have had to be like, oh, um. I kind of wish they would have made a second movie, because <laughs> no, I, like, been... spoiler alert, if uh, you haven't they, seen it, but the end of the movie, soon. I loved yeah. it when they the bad guy un- unveiled have his dragon, been... and then we didn't even get to like Yeah. yeah. You waited... should get the Inheritance Cycle and read it. Christopher Paoloni, amazing writer. I just haven't read um, it. His fourth thing. installment, though... <laughs> His fourth installment was very de- depressing to me because it felt like right, he started. Out- too much okay, yeah, about. we'll we'll talk about that another day. We'll talk about that another day. We can make a whole video about that. We we should move on. There, we should do like a huh? adaptation of mo- of books, movies. That would be a good one. That could be. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go in- go into my like. So here's my like. Then Spin that like. Spin that like. <laughs> um, my like. I actually had to oh. split it in two. What? So my like is Slifer the Sky Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and Bahamut from d and I am so mad at you. You told me to not <laughs> do anything crazy, Jay. and you did it yourself. I couldn't help it. No, I had Bahamut chosen for days. You're a jerk. Um, Bahamut has <laughs> always been one of my favorite uh, dragons from D&D lore. I've always loved uh, an amazing character. He's supposed to have seven wings, you know that? Well, why seven? That's an odd number. Because he represents number. everything lawful and order in the world, and so seven's a whole prime number. Number. seven's a holy number. Oh, I was like, is it because he's a prime number? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Seven is up here over there. And yeah. he's he's supposed to represent yeah, everything well, that's good and decent seven. in the world, yeah, while his twin like sister you. Tiamat represents everything evil and you know uh, chaotic in the world. Um. But I still remember to this day, I still remember to this day, the first time that Slifer the Sky Dragon got summoned in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes. And it blew me away. Yes. There is only one reason that Slifer is not my love, because there's another dragon that's always had my heart. But these two are very close, with Slifer definitely being closer. But uh, I will never forget when Yugi finally got his hands on Slifer the Sky Dragon. And was able to use it to such effectiveness. So, awesome right there. But, uh, now we'll go ahead and get into my love. And we'll spin that love. Like you always do. My love is Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. Who disturbs my slumber? Come on. (laughs) Who? That's what makes Shenron great. He's got so much going for him besides just, you know... I, I show up and I grant a wish. He's wait, humorous. He's wait, no, wait. wait, which Shenron? There's only one Shenron. No, there's two. No, there's not. There's one. There's two. Are you talking about the Namekoi? That's Purunga. Yes, That's Purunga. It's Purunga. It's the same thing. No, uh, it's not. No. <laughs> Purunga has his own personality. They're both, they're both Guys, eternal you're trying, dragons. You're trying to argue with someone own... who is extremely dying. He has his own balls. <laughs> but I have he has his own balls so he's not a eunuch that's Yay. good I've always loved Shenron I've always loved the com- uh, the comedy he he brings along with the sheer terror that he brought when you first saw him in Dragon Ball and the sheer power and might of that character it made me think that nothing's more powerful than this amazing mystical dragon uh, well, Beerus but is. but then that guy Goku's more powerful than he is because <laughs> Beerus made him scared <laughs> so, but I've always loved Shenron, so that's why Shenron is in my love category right there. So, the next uh, the next dragon we're going to talk about, we're we'll get my destroy up there and destroy. spin that destroy, is going to be Dragonstorm <laughs> from Transformers, <laughs> and it's, uh, he's been that's in other movie. media. Wait, yes. What movie was that? Transformers: The, the Last Night. Night. Yep. Oh. Oh I my really God! This. Movie. I hated this thing. I've always hated Transformers that have an animalistic nature. Because to me, they're not supposed to be animals. They're supposed to be these robotic creatures that transform into actual, like, you know, vehicles of some sort, you know? If I can, like, separate that from it all, I do like the way it looks. But... With all that, yeah, you're right. It's kind of. I, I, I vaguely remember that movie. I have never been a fan of Dragon Storm. I'm going to show you guys a picture real quick of the action figures that you can get <laughs> that combine to form Dragon Storm and Hasbro, uh, the Hasbro action figure. 
I have just never been a fan. I've always hated that, you know. And when I saw him on TV, I'm like, oh my god, you are freaking awful. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Dragon Storm, definitely not my favorite character. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and go into Cuties for Life, just in case, uh, you know. She falls asleep. She falls asleep on us. She is I tired. She's little... worked really hard today. <laughs> but it doesn't have caffeine, right? It has a little bit of sugar. But, uh... Huh? I want the clicker. Uh, okay. <laughs> oops, wants... oops. Control. I was trying. I was trying. I can't really, like, do anything else for you there. Just move out of the way, Pendo. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Pendo got told. She's the uh, lady of the house. Gotta listen. Come on, scoot up here. Working on So, she's gonna talk about Dargons, apparently. Dargons! <laughs> I mean dragons. Yup! Thank you. It doesn't matter if you like put it in there. Then it's not a pretend accident, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I have an honorable mention because of all the hype. Yay! Oh. <laughs> because of all the hype for the movie, I'm not gonna throw Toothless in under any of the categories other than this because he is well beloved, and someone else would probably mention him. If not, he is have now been mentioned. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> well, all right then. So. I gotta go old school. Here Caleb kind of stole part of that thunder because I went with Felgen you Dragon. You the Felgrind, huh? Yes. Oh. Yu Gi Oh always... dragons. Yes. There's only two dragons in Yu Gi Oh that matter. Hey. That's Slife for the Sky Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon. Am I right? No. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. You should have included that Felgrin... for, your, for your babe. I know, but Felgen Dragon. If you care about Yu Gi Oh. You might know what these guys do. If not, you can look them up later. The play, names are up there. Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and Black Kaiba's starter decks. I mean, there's that too, yeah. I guess. <sighs> but no, the fact that Felgren Dragon gets a family after how many generations? Mm. It is... I've... It's tricky to play... To me, it's tricky to play Felgren when... It was just him, but after everyone else came, as I point to the screen with my hand, ha ha ha, um, it becomes You're doing great. a little easier. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty, moving along. So I have two pages of love, oh. but you'll see why. First off, I bring you the dragons from How to Train Your Dragon Race to the Edge. We've got the Night Terrors with lovely Sh Schmidvarg. And the gang, if you haven't seen the show, it is literally on Netflix. Go watch it. Um, that one looks like a butterfly. That is a giant night terror Ooh, made up I'm... of all these little night terrors. I'm in the next one. Oh, Garf! Garfilorg! And yes, many of these names are named by the twins. Tough Nut and Rough Nut. <laughs> but... Anyway, this is a death song. This is a catastrophic qu quaking, quacking quaking. If you remember Fish Legs Dragon, uh, Gronkle, just think of that. Several times larger, several times spikier, several times mean meaner. 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 I, I need to watch this show. Ne it's on Netflix. Watch Race to the Edge. Christina doesn't Not watch TV. Alone. She spends too much time reading I've fan seen fiction. Riders of Burke and Defenders of Burke, but I haven't seen this one. This one's good. I tried to watch the other ones. That it, it it looked bad. <laughs> but now we have Wind Shear the Razor Whip. This belongs to a writer that is only found in this show. Um, all these dragons are discovered in Race to the Edge, which takes place, apparently, between, um, How to Train Your Dragon and How to Train Your Dragon 2. So, hmm. I thought it took between 2 oh, and shit. 3, but I was stand corrected. Alright, moving on to number 2, and you're gonna hate me. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I still love Safira. I just don't think that she deserves that much of my love compared to the other dragons. Well, in terms of this, the only reason this picture is in here is because that version of Safira looks fucked 
in terms of when this happened, she looks fucking phenomenal. I didn't like she it, but real quick, amazing. let's go ahead and give it a clapping because Severe got mentioned twice, so yeah. Hey. Well, there's clapping going on, so you guys don't have to clap. But. <laughs> Fine. Calm down. Calm down. No. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna go and explain that, but she's always been one of my favorites. Alrighty, so I have an honorable destroy. <laughs> I have permission. Destroy? I have permission. What That's is hilarious. that? It's called. <laughs> it's a destroy that I don't want to destroy, but Kayla will understand most. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't understand it. Okay. Maybe you need to click. I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh. There he is. So this is a dragon who, as a hatchling, his rider was killed. Off. Yep, there's the face. Ah. Uh, By Galba King Galbatorix of from the realm of Alagasia in the Inher in the Inheritance Cycle, or otherwise known as Aragon's Story. It's a big dragon. Oh, it is a huge ass dragon. I was like, what is wow. this from, and what is happening? Okay. It's the dragon is, that Galbatorix got you. Okay, this I is Galbatorix's understand. dragon. Over a hundred years. Uh, come here. Hey, no, no, no! You you can't do that. You have to go this way. There you Galvatorix? go. That's what I'm trying to is do. Galvatorix, the bad guy. But you have yes. to go. You have to go this so way and then this way. Yes. All you ever see is the. I, eye I of literally that just it, thought of a dragon like, that it, I wanted. I would have put on my thing if I had remembered him. <laughs> right. Oh It's my like, God. but you see why he's honorably destroyed. I guess. I, he's. Should be destroyed because he's a fucking asshole dragon. But the dragon but it wasn't controlled. His, yeah, exactly. It was not his fault. I he wouldn't was honorably dripping. destroy him. I just try to, re, you know. Well, it was the only thing I could think of other than smog. But that would would have been too easy. Uh, smog. But then, while I was working on this, I realized there was a destroy. I'm not gonna explain why, because anyone who was playing <laughs> Minecraft will understand. <laughs> Oh gosh! I don't, asshole, is that the is that the that's is, the Ender, the Ender, Ender dragon. dragon? I have never be I have never faced the Ender Dragon. Neither yet. have I, but I know enough about it that I don't want to go fuck with it. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I have a shout out to Red Eyes Mark. Uh, oh, oh, look at it that! It is really, really quick, and okay. Kate, or Lord Mock will under will recognize said thing. Red Eyes, because I'm just gonna click, click, click. Oh! Ah! Destroy that blue eyes white it's dragon! Upside down! Look how we destroy it! Yep. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to the um, Rude. graveyard. Rude. All right. All right. Bye, 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 guys. Bye, 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 bye. All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get into Christina's oh, presentation fine. now. I just realized, like, one of one of the dragons I would have put in here. I just thought of him. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm really upset with myself, honestly. Are you not doing any more? You should throw know. an audible in there and just say it. Okay. okay. I just thought of the dragon Acnologia. And I Acnologia from a fairy tale? I would have put that guy in my thing. I love that dragon. And I didn't even think about him. So I'm a little disappointed in myself oh, now. Oh, yeah. You like bad boys. <laughs> you leave <laughs> me alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, now I'm a little sad. Okay, well, Acnologia is a cool dragon, and I probably would have included him in this list if I had thought of him. But for some reason, I saw a big black dragon, and I was just like... Acnologia is an awesome dragon from, from uh, fairy, fairy tale, tale, by the way, guys, in case you want to know. Anyway. So, uh, good show, very good anime. Definitely look it up and Watch give it a it. chance. I have pictures of volcanoes, because volcanoes always make me think of dragons. So... Uh -huh. Yeah, so dragons. You know, in actual history, the reason why some some reasons why dragons breathe fire is because people saw volcanoes and thought that there's there's there, there's no way that could naturally happen. So they thought that there was a big mysterious creature from which they found dinosaur bones, which is how they got mixed up dragons. They thought these creatures lived in the mountains and would spew fire from them. So that's you know a little history lesson. Of how of how the existence of dragons were quantified by people during ancient times. The more you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go into this. Uh, I have. I have something like the very beginning. <laughs> I'm giving give praise to Tiamat. She has to be. What? 
You would be my evil stepsister, like... The queen, oh. the queen and mother of evil dragons. And it's funny because Caleb included the good guy. And oh. I included the bad one. But she's way cooler. She has five heads. And she's immortal. And she just blows shit up as she pleases. Unless she throw her against a light or dark creature. Eh. Tiamma sucks. <laughs> she's also <laughs> incestuous. She wants to sleep with Bahamut. Eh. They're dragons. So? Whatever. Anyway. So... I included her. I just I thought it was funny. Is this your just honorable mention or? Uh, well, no. I just I felt like she had to be included in order to. Not so she's bring... your honorable mention. Got no, it. I didn't want her to bring that. If you have to an me. honorable mention after this, I I'm do have be an mad. honorable ah! mention. <laughs> and it's Puff, it's Puff the Magic Dragon. The only thing I know about this song, about this dragon is that if you want to get high, you 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 puff the magic no, dragon. Is, there was like three cartoon movies in like seventy eight through eighty two. Yeah, one there's in three the top of them. Right, I remember and I liked when I was a kid. I remember the left. One. I've never seen these movies. I've seen all three. We I had. I remember that little girl. I did stone this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had these movies right? when I grew up as a kid. And it was super hard to even find pictures of him because they're all this grainy shit. Right? <laughs> but, like, he sang and he danced and there was life lessons, but they were all really weird at the same time. Go, Way to go, 70s. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I watched these as a kid, so Puff the Magic Dragon is definitely... He's on my list of cool dragons. See, you got mad because I, I did something, but you had two special mentions. No, the other one was to keep me from being cursed. All right. Whatever. My like is Smaug. Yay. Look how beautiful he is. No, oh, he's creepy. He's not even a dragon. He's a wyvern. Shut up. You know that? <laughs> we weren't going through that. Okay, but still, like, apparently wyverns were uh, were an invention of me of uh, medieval history. That's why dragons in a lot of uh, oh. European places have don't have four legs and two wings they have the wings with the claws at the end because european dragons apparently for some reason were imagined like this it looks like a dragon roars it's like a dragon, dragon. Yeah, it was like he's, like a, a, dragon. Dragon. But no, he's a, a dragon the difference made between <laughs> wyverns and dragons in dnd who cares this so isn't dnd anyway he's my like they were real, he's a fiery dragon. dragon of death yes and he's called the also he's also known as the golden the impenetrable, and he's the king under the mountain, because he said so. <laughs> and he laid on his treasure for so long that his belly is encrusted with his gold and his gems. And that's just, he's such a poetic guy. I love Smaug, he's great. Also, I thought you liked him. I do, he's my like. Okay, sorry. <laughs> he's got, and this is like one of the things he says in the book. <laughs> that, was, that was such a good line. Like, my armor is like tenfold shields. My teeth are swords. My claws spears. The shock of my tail a thunderbolt. My wings a hurricane, and my breath death. He's so cool. Rest in peace, J.R.R. Tolkien. He's so cool. I agree. Smaug, oh, he's Smaug he's so, so great. Lame. Also, I included this comic because it's cute. Tiny Smog, protect us with your life. Oh, you're fire. I am dead. I am fabulous. He is fire and he is death. That is adorable. Right? Don't you glad you stayed for this? Yes. That it's adorable. Cute. It's right? adorable. This is this is my kind of love. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and my love is Slifer the Sky Dragon. All right, we got to get some clapping in for Slifer the Sky Dragon. So, yay. You made him your like. I made him my love. All right. It'll, it'll stop when it's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, and then this is the guy who made it. Like, his thing is here, and you can go check out his other works. He's got other things there, so just, uh... Anyway, but no, this Sky Dragon... I love Sky for the Sky Dragon. I also was... He's a light divine beast. He's also known as the Sky Dragon of Osiris, and the Saint Dragon, the God of Osiris. And he is the first god card attained by Yugi Moto, and he is... It is my favorite one. And I also really love the duel where he got it, and he summoned it, and it was just like, this is the greatest thing in my life. Because I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, or maybe 11, I don't know. Whenever that season was. <gasps> Why but, weren't you on your Pokemon journey? Um, because I didn't get Cartoon Network. So I didn't have Pokemon to begin with. Um, and I really liked his design, like the double mouth, I thought was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I don't know. I was super impressed when I was younger. 
but Slifer's always been one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh dragons because of that. So much love to the Slifer. All right, and then for my destroy, because I really freaking hate it. Oh wait, I forgot I did this picture. This someone made this, and it's amazing. It's like if Slifer the Sky Dragon mega evolved. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very spiky and scary. I forgot I put that picture in there. This guy! Hey! This uh, guy! Hey! Screw this guy! Hey! Lo Alolan Executor! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay? Like, who made this a dragon? <laughs> this tall ass pine hey! tree bullshit hey! with a weird hey! tail thing? No, it is hey! not okay! Hey! What? My whack a mole is fucking amazing! No! This pisses me off! Like, oh, OP Pokemon and I, Pokemon I gave them a pass with Gumi. <laughs> Because Gudra kind of looks like a dragon, if you squint. See, look. Kind of dragon, <laughs> I guess. But uh, also, as a disclaimer, because I just thought of it, whenever you're looking up Pokemon pictures, be careful, because you never know which ones are bay. I saw a lot of things that I didn't want oh, to see. Oh, man, there's some really <laughs> gross-looking Gudra porn. I'm just saying. Uh. You never know which ones people like. You need an adult. And uh, Gudra is one of them. Just so you know. I don't know why. It's I, like because it's it's soft and That's squishy. That's slime. Yeah, this is slime. But it's like I don't, I think it's because it's soft and squishy and it's got thick thighs. Uh, so, <laughs> but I'm just saying, just be careful. But anyway, look at this ugly. I'm so I got so mad when I saw this Pokemon because it's it's unexcusable, unexcusable. But I do think that there are some that should get a dragon typing, that don't have one, that not are Charizard. better than this thing. <laughs> yes, not, not I included Charizard because not Charizard. giving him just one dragon mega is not okay. He should have just been made a dragon. I don't know. <laughs> boo, Charizard, boo. No, he's not he deserved dragon. it. He's not a dragon unless he he's mega not. evolves with his he's X stone. He's a fire flying. He's a dragon. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't. They never gave him the dragon typing, except when he mega evolves into. So what one are the other ones? ones? The, the it's a dragon. it. Right? I know, but he deserves to get the typing way more than this stupid palm tree. Yes. And the other one is Gyarados. Woo! Yes. Yes. Yeah. I Gar mean, he has a freaking attack. He dragon rage. Is I mean, a, a dragon, little... and then they made him he water. It too. But then. When he gave him a mega, they gave him some weird fish form and made him water dark. Like, who wanted that? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody wanted that. He looks like an that. inflated shrimp. He looks like, he, he suddenly becomes like a really big ugly fish. And that pisses me off. It's like a downgrade. Exactly. Seriously. They should have just so made- It's so powerful. These, he should have made these guys dragons. Seriously. There's no reason for it. He, they could easily- they retroactively made some things fairies, they could have made these retroactively dragons. I'm just saying. Get on And it. I'm just super saying. But, but this you know. thing is unforgivable. That was two weeks ago, sorry. I am- <laughs> I am extremely mad at this, and I would destroy it in real life, because it's freaking annoying. All you have to do is chop it down! I would chop every single one of them down. That is unacceptable! <laughs> Alright, so for our last, uh, little bit here, we have Pen Dragon and his like love destroy for dragons. And I I love your I always love your slides. They're always so amazing. Well, so, it took me long enough, right? Uh, it, it they really better be can. amazing if they took this long. So. so I'll start off by saying this one was really hard because like dragons in general are just awesome. So trying to narrow it down at all was really hard to me because there's so many dragons out there and so i got a couple honorable mentions in here so oh, here whatever but my first honorable mentions are specifically just kind of like cool things that i loved from when i was a kid and so i mean hey, falcor hey, from never ending story uh, Shiv and Dragon is like iconic for magic back oh, in yeah. the day. Oh yeah. Um, Maleficent, Maleficent when she turns into the dragons yeah. looks so is cool. Is that Puff again? No, that is Magellan from the show Eureka's Castle, which was on Nickelodeon. Oh my god. And I man. loved it. It was like a puppet show thing, and they like lived in this castle, and that <laughs> that chick was Eureka, and she's like a sorceress. I don't like but puppets. He like runs around. He's got like a Hawaiian shirt on all the time, and he was just I don't know. I liked him because I really liked that show. That looks like Goofy. I... 
no, no, no joke. That looks like Goofy. <laughs> A little oh, bit. I almost included Falcor. But I had to, I had to include a few of those just because I really liked them. Um, I've always loved the color scheme on Maleficent as the Maleficent dragon. Is a that great black dragon. and purple just was awesome. Uh, for my like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's I, up? Carefully you keep finding these. <laughs> so for an honorable mention for my like, what? I went a little bit old I, school. He didn't ask me this. He just did it. I just okay? did it. It's on me. It's on me. I cheated. Anyway, I went with Draco. Oh, for Dragonheart. he was so close to making my list. I loved him. I in, know. In the, uh, the movie. I mean, Sean Connery doing the voice. It was great. Oh, man. I feel so bad I couldn't <laughs> put you on my list, Draco. But at least you're being shown here, That's buddy. Right. So, so that makes me feel better. I mean that scene where he like. But I'm pretty sure I've never seen this movie. Oh my god! <laughs> they like <laughs> get the hell out now. They're like he's like a dragon <laughs> hunter, <laughs> and there's like hardly any dragons <laughs> left, so like they help each other out, okay. so he doesn't have to kill him, and he gets to keep like Does doing his work, and it's great. <laughs> my oh, wow. my actual like was. Shenron. Oh, let's get some love for Shenron <laughs> real quick. I'm really hoping these are working. <laughs> It'd be funny if it wasn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, look but, at that Lego yeah, Shenron. Yeah, I saw that in the That's pictures. I was, looking at, I was like, what? That's awesome. So, Lego yeah, like you were saying earlier, I mean, Shenron's awesome. He's always like, been such an integral part of Dragon Ball, you know. Like, when you think Dragon Ball Z, you can't help but almost immediately think of Shenron. Right. And I just, yeah, I love the old, you know, the long serpenty dragon type. There's, those are the best dragons. Those Asian influence style dragons, you know? They look really cool. They're, in my opinion, at least, they're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, I kind of, for my for my honorable mention, for my love, I, uh, I had to go back to my childhood a little bit again, but... Oh wait, sorry. Yeah. My, for my love, love. So. No. Oh my gosh, what out. is with this, dude? <laughs> Mushu. Mushu is great. I really wanted to put Mushu. Yeah, I mean, on. Eddie Murphy did a great job with it. He was so. You see, funny. this is like this is like Pendry's breaking all the rules by putting all these extra dragons in. I know. But I like, know. we would have put these guys in too, but we decided to stick to like trying to shorten the episodes down a little bit. You have made me behave and. Now all of these cool dragons are not on my page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I like never... how you got like the gift here. <laughs> <Your worst nightmare. laughs> you probably never Your have worst that. Worst nightmare. <laughs> yes, I love you know Mushu is great. I, I am Mimo. the great stone <laughs> dragon. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll go forth and patch moon on. Did I bet you that was a great stone dragon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. All uh, right. So my actual love. <gasps> Small. Oh, all right, we gotta get some cheering in the uh, in the, in here for real quick. Oh man, he is death. Oh, there we go. He is, like you said, he's such a great character in the the Hobbit, and I love the fact that you know they made it basically the one missing scale is the way to defeat him. And Benedict Cumberbatch, I loved him yeah. doing the voice. I like how you guys keep talking about the movie, but, like, did you read the book? Well, yeah. Okay, okay, because, like, that was my I first, tried. that was my first, you I know, exposed... Exp I was first exposed to Smog in the book, and don't get me wrong, they did a great job of Smog in the movie. Smog. Smog, whatever. <laughs> but, Smog. I mean, I just, you know, sometimes I kind of... I, I, it makes me upset but that people so don't beautiful. like re reference the book, you know. So and, and you know what I mean. But you know me; I'm such a movie guy. So yeah, I know. My, yeah, we thing. should take a picture. Like we should do a video of your downstairs basement. <laughs> just put it up here so everyone can see. I've it. done that before. It's pretty crazy. But all right, and you'll be happy to hear I did not have any honorable men. Oh, I forgot. I like that picture too. <laughs> he, he was on Colbert for an He's interview on one night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, it was great. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. So, that's so awesome. I had to throw that, that in there because it's great. That would be scary. All right, so for my destroy, that's I did not really good pictures actually. I did not have an honorable mention, so there you go. All right. And honestly, it was kind of hard to pick just some random dragon that I really like, didn't like, and so I just went with one I don't necessarily I, dislike, I but I 
feel I is overrated. Like that overrated, huh? Yes. Oh. Reshiram. Oh. oh! I don't think that's even an overrated dragon. That's Come on. I think it is. I'm not a huge, like, I'm not into, like, the furriness and just, like... But it's not really... Uh, if we're going to talk about overrated dragons in Pokemon, you haven't even mentioned Rayquaza. No, you, Rayquaza. you haven't Rayquaza mentioned... Rayquaza is awesome, dragon. though. Rayquaza is awesome. Rayquaza I can't... You haven't Rayquaza. mentioned, uh... Um, Aaron. the the one that wants to fly, Bagon evolves in Bagon. Salamence. Yeah, and you mentioned Salamence. Love Salamence. I know, <laughs> I know, but he said overrated, and I Salamence when I think of dragons, Reshiram is like overrated. so far off my list of overrated <laughs> dragons. I like Reshiram. Reshiram's pretty. Zek <laughs> I think Zekrom's better, actually. My I like opinion. Zekrom. Better. I said looks pretty. <laughs> well, I think but. Zekrom is prettier. I like but. most Pokemon dragons. So. Yeah, that's the one I ended yeah, up going with. So I just couldn't really figure out any one that I just. So like, after I, I showed up Dragon Storm, though, would you have changed that oh, for yeah, Dragon that's Storm? Right, because uh, alone, two dragons. Be honest, you don't have to. You don't have to yeah. appease me. Probably, Probably not, not, just because I like. I still like the way he Dragonite. looked. I just hated the Fuck way Dragonite. they went about it. Dragonite mm -hmm. almost made my list too. All right, well, <laughs> guys, thank you so Especially much for joining us in shiny. this awesome special episode <laughs> of Like, I'm pretty sure Love, it's shiny. and Destroy. destroy. Oh, and real quick, we pink? want to thank you so much for joining us for it's this pink? dragon pink episode. <laughs> Whoa. And thank you so much for being here with us today. From myself, Pendo Dragon, uh, Serafina, Cuties for Life, Red Eyes Merc got some love in there. And you guys heard our good friend, uh, uh, I'm going to call him Double L for right now because uh, I don't want to give out real names. I don't like giving out real names because, you know. But we say them anyway. Well, sometimes we do. but we're bad. But uh, <laughs> he was here in the background uh, enjoying this episode live. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you use your amazing breath weapon on that like button. And if you're <laughs> new, climb to the <laughs> skies and soar with your brotherhood on the backs of dragons. Wow. But thank wow. you guys so much. <laughs> Are we going to sing Kumbaya now? Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining us for this uh, Like, Love, Destroy episode. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Bye. Good night!